Assalamu alaikum students. Hope you are all doing well. My name is Sanif Tikhar and I am your English teacher. Today we are going to discuss about the uses of some and you know. Previously, in the yesterday's video, we had talked about the uses of some any, but today we are going to discuss in detail about the uses of some any along with the uses of no. Without further ado, let's begin our topic. Let's start our topic with the uses of some. Some is an unspecified quantity, it could be big or small. We don't know. Normally, it is medium. As we have discussed in the yesterday's video, that we use some to quantify the nouns whose quantity we are not very well aware of. We use some in uncountable noun in affirmative sentences, positive statement. We have in a sentence, I want some ice cream. Ice cream is an uncountable noun and the statement is an affirmative sentence. So that's why we use some in this sentence. We use some in plural countable noun. Let's look at the example. He needs some stamps. Stamps is plural countable noun and the sentence is also affirmative. So that's why we use some in this sentence. We use some in offer request. Would you like some tea? This statement is an offer, so that's why we use some in this sentence. Now let's move to where's the use of any. Any is also an unspecified quantity. It refers to one, some, or all. So, it's a quantity from 1 to infinity. We use an incountable noun in quotients. Let's look at the example. Do you have any coffee? In this sentence, coffee is an uncountable noun. And this statement is a questioning statement because it ends up with the questioning mark. So that's why we use any in this sentence because we use uncountable noun and the sentence is a questioning statement. We use any in uncountable noun in negative sentences. Let's look at the example. I don't have any coffee. Coffee, again, is an uncountable noun but this statement is negative because we have used not in it. So, that's why we have used any in this sentence. We use any in this sentence because it's can be the uncountable noun, that is coffee. And this statement is a negative sentence because we have used not in this sentence. Now, comes to the uses of no. No. Is easy. No is zero. When the noun quantify as zero, we use no in the sentence. We use no in uncountable noun. In affirmative sentences, we have no ice cream. Ice cream is an uncountable noun, and the statement is an affirmative, so that's why we use no with it. Plural countable noun. There are no pencils in the box. Pencil is plural countable noun and this sentence is a negative. So that's why we use no in the sentence. Now let's look at some examples present in our course book. I want some more rice, please. This statement is a request. So that's why we use some in this sentence. Do you want some coffee? This sentence is an offer, so that's why we use some in this sentence. Did you have any ice in your fridge? 
I is an uncountable noun and this is a questioning statement so that's why we use any in this sentence. We don't have any. It is a negative sentence because we have used not in this sentence so that's why we have used any in this statement. In the conclusion, I'm going to play a video for you all which will enhance your learning experience about today's topic. Also, our sheet has been attested with this video which you have to complete it. Your worksheet is that you have to complete exercise number one, learn grammar on page 36 in first book of some any new. Hope you all enjoyed the lesson like I do. Stay home and stay safe. Allah Hafiz. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today, we're talking about the uses of some, any, and no. We use some with uncountable nouns in affirmative sentences and offers. For example, I would like some coffee. Would you like some juice? We use some with plural countable nouns. For example, there are some strawberries in the fridge. Would you like some biscuits? We use any with uncountable nouns in questions and negative sentences. For example, do you have any milk? Sorry, I don't have any milk. We also use any with plural countable nouns. For example, is there any butter in the fridge? No, there isn't any butter, but there is some cheese. We use no with uncountable nouns in affirmative sentences. For example, I'd like to make a sandwich. You can't make a sandwich. We have no bread. I want some ice cream. Sorry, we have no ice cream. We also use no with plural countable nouns. For example, there are no biscuits in the box. We have no clean dishes. Thank you for watching. See you soon.